Okay, so I want to show you guys the ash bin on the Masterbuilt 1050. After nearly a full 20-pound uh, bag of chunk charcoal, and what it really looks like. So, and you can see, you know, bits of ash get in here. They, they clean out. But most of it goes in the bin. Um, but here's the problem. There's some pretty big chunks of fuel that are left over that fall through the grates. I've got a little bit left inside here. Not much. I'll show you that really quick. So, just a bit of fuel left in there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in for a sec. Go ahead and pull that grate out. That last bit of fuel. And I'll, I'll pull those big chunks um, back in. You can see, here's the grate. Now, the grate has some pretty substantial gaps in it. And those gaps obviously make it real easy for that charcoal to fall through before it should be falling through. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and take, and use these here. Just grab these at Walmart, four pack, skewers. You take these, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in between the, uh, the grates here fix those gaps a little bit so it's not quite as bad and hopefully we lose less fuel so I'm gonna do that real quick I'll show you that when I'm done I just want to show you guys what I'm doing here so I've just taken these and I have put them in place snipped off the end with my wire snip they're a little thicker than what you usually use on the wire snip but they will cut um, you know they're Thick enough where they'll hold up, but they are not uh, too thick to cut. So, I'm just putting them in place in between the gaps. Now you can see on this one, it's staying in place, it's not moving. This one here, it just slides in and out like it's nothing. So, what I'm doing with them as I'm putting them in is I'm putting a little bit of a bend on them. And a little bit of a bend makes it so that they have a pressure fitting and they'll sit in place like they're supposed to without sliding around and sliding in and out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these last couple in there with that little bend on them and I'll show you at the end what it looks like. Okay, so this is done. They're in place. They hold up really well. I can you know, pick the whole grid up by sitting in there so that pressure fitting is just sitting in there without any problem. It's really nice and easy. Uh, I do not have a middle one. I only have, you need to have uh, five of these to fill that whole middle spot, but it's only four in that pack, so I'll probably get another one and just fill that last spot in. But, you know, half of the grade is going to be caught by these, by the spot where you put the fire starter anyway. But I'll probably do that just to catch a little bit more fuel. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back in. It should slide in just fine. Put it in the top. Oops. Size just fine. Give me that look from the top. So from the top, you can see now we've got basically half the distance between the grates that's taken care of. So yeah, I'll get that one more just to fill it up and make sure I'm not losing so much fuel because obviously it's a lot of fuel to lose.